Hey everybody, welcome back to our solo self-bound adventure here on the Forsaken Priest. Thank you guys for being here. A little bit of housekeeping. I did a little bit of cooking, very little bit, so we have some charred wolf meat to eat now. Uh, and today we are focused on farming up some linen. A couple things we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of farming over here at the actual farm. And then we're also going to head over to the pumpkin patch. We have a couple of things to do over that way, and there's humans over there that we need to kill. So, we'll track Fields of Grief, and we will track War with the Scarlet Crusade. And that should be quite a chunk of linen if we also do a little bit of grinding over here first thing. So, that is the plan for today. Appreciate you guys being here and spending some time with me. And now this will be our second episode with quest tracking turned off, in fact with all add-ons turned off. And so I'm, I'm fine to continue this way, I'm, I'm curious to what you guys think about not having any add-ons. Uh, you know, on one hand it could add to the hardcore experience, it becomes one of our rules. Uh, on the other hand, you know, I'm liable to forget to pick up quests by not seeing them on the map and stuff like that, so... I'm fine to leave all the add-ons off, I played that way for like 15 years. You guys let me know how you feel about it. Does it add anything to the experience when we have a clean map and a clean HUD? I feel like it does. I like not seeing all the clutter. I'm like retraining my brain that I can focus here, that I don't have to look up here for objectives. So I, I kind of dig it. But you guys let me know how you feel. Uh, not as many enemies spawned here as I would like. I mean, it does give us time to regenerate some of our mana naturally, so that's a good thing, but kind of hard to keep up the kill rate. Let's uh, grab this guy. We'll use the fence here as a little bit of a barrier for him.
starting to wonder if maybe we just wouldn't be better off going over to the pumpkin fields and farming over that way. These guys really don't seem to have a lot of linen. Yeah, let's head over to the pumpkin patch. It, it can't be worse. So, I don't think we've gotten a single piece of linen yet. Yeah, we haven't. I made the bolts before recording. So, yeah, it, it can't be worse. Maybe it'll be more likely. You could argue that, you know, if you're fighting actual humans, the chance of getting scraps could be better than just, you know, an undead. Don't know if it's in the game that way, but I'm willing to find out. Well, there we go, there's a piece of linen. At least we know it's still dropping. I'm gonna move this up here. I'm gonna try to keep like crafting stuff, consumables. Uh, as we get more bags, I'll probably try to keep our loot separated and organized. Yeah, already this has been much, much more lucrative. Definitely the place you want to be if you're trying to grind up uh, your cloth. You want to be out this way.
let's head out into the field and that way we can start getting pumpkins. And we can just keep grinding. Got a scroll of spirit. Let's go ahead and pop that right away. Uh, I don't want to take on two of them at the same time. So I'm going to wait until they diverge a little bit. I'm going to assume that they'll, they'll eventually go on different pathways. Uh, or not. Maybe they're buddies and they're hanging out. Maybe he's trying to convince this guy to join up with the Scarlet Crusade. We shouldn't let him do that. Either way, they're both doomed. So I guess it really doesn't matter. So that's the last pumpkin that we need. We need six more Scarlet Warriors and however much linen we can bag along the way. Yeah. 
we'll use the fence here a little bit so we can regen some of our mana. It's a bit of a cheap move, but there's not really a lot else we can do. Yeah, see, he's super confused by fences. It's because he can't jump. the same treatment with her. We did have a little bit of help there. We didn't need it, but I appreciate it anyway. I guess the other difficulty modifier that I didn't really list or think about was that I like playing with a close camera. And, you know, I feel like it's not really a rule, it's more of just like a habit, but I, I tend to play with the camera about like from anywhere from here to about right here. That's where I like it, it's where visually the game is the best in my opinion. I know a lot of people like, they play way out here, which in hardcore, you know, it makes sense. You can see some stuff that's creeping up behind you, you don't get blindsided by things. So it's kind of an additional difficulty modifier in a way. My, uh, my preference to play with a closer camera. Alright, we got all the warriors we need. Let's come back down to the farm. And we'll spend a little bit of time fighting the lower level humans here to see how much linen we can amass. We are in combat with something. We must be in combat with this guy back here. Maybe because of the proximity that we that he was to the guy we pulled. Uh, and the crappy thing is this guy's about to get leashed, which means he's probably gonna come right back onto us. We, we have to be ready to deal with this guy. Yeah, see he has us targeted. Because I attacked a guy that was near another guy that was calling for help or something, uh, we got aggro on this guy. So a little bit weird, but we'll deal with it. I, I wish the game would at least give me the tag for this, 
since he did like get onto our aggro chain, but I feel like the other player is still gonna have the tag for it, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, we don't get to loot it, and that really sucks. We'll pop the scroll of protection right away just to get it out of the inventory. I'm pretty sure this person wants a fortitude buff, but I don't have mana, so... They can have a fortitude buff, they just have to wait for it. And it costs a lot of mana, so... There you go. Enjoy.
Well, that's not exactly great. Let's go ahead and pop the bubble. Let's put pop Shadow or Pain on this guy. He should run off in a second. I will switch our casting over to the farmer. Make sure we got a dot rolling on him as well. Let's put a hot rolling on ourselves. That'll help out a little bit. We can re-up Power Word Shield now. Let's do that. And we should be fine. Alright, let's start heading back towards Brill. We'll stop at the farm where the tailoring trainer is at and we'll do all the tailoring that we can. And we'll see how many levels that gets us. It's probably not going to get us like super far. To be fair, well, you know, we, we are going to get at least 12 skill ups off of uh, just the bolts. That maybe should be our focus, like maybe I shouldn't be making anything else yet. Maybe I should be focusing on leveling up with bolts and just like waiting until we can train those green patterns that's really like only thing we should be spending mats on that we don't absolutely have to to level up should be patterns that are green so we can disenchant them and then other quests we have where we might get linen the knolls up here to the north like they may give us linen Mills Overrun, that's not it. Grave Robbers. And probably Mills Overrun as well. Although, one of these I think is a higher level. And without Questy, we don't get like direct insight into the levels of the quest. So that could make things a little bit more interesting as well. I didn't think about that aspect of Questy. That it neatly tells us exactly this is a level 6, this is level 7, level 8, etc. Without... Without Questy, we just get green, yellow, orange, or red. Without any real breakdown on what level it's for. We could probably check the trainer and we'll be able to see what level we can learn a green pattern. Alright, so let's have a look. Yeah, all this stuff is still white. Now, I don't know that I want to blow a bunch of money on this stuff. The other trade-off is, like, we could really use some better gear. Like, that's true. So maybe I'll learn some of it. It's not that expensive yet. It's probably okay to learn it. And we, we could make some of these for ourselves to equip. That Where could be a good idea. It's a little bit more armor that way. Uh, however, this person does not. You would think this would be like a tailoring supplies person. Uh, but they're not. We can go ahead and vendor all of our junk though. Everything we don't need. I believe that is it. There we go. Do not seek death.
what is it? Trust no one. Our time will come. He wants us to feed a poison pumpkin to the dude in the basement at the inn. Which I think is rude, but we'll do it anyway. This had better be good. Embrace the shadow. And now he wants us to go after three Scarlet Zealots, three Scarlet Missionaries, and Captain Perrine. Uh, they're going to be over this way by the Ruined Tower. I feel like we get another quest over there as well. I am forsaken. Proof of Demise. Okay, yes, Proof of Demise. So this will be another quest we can do that will help us grind up our linen. So we'll probably focus that one next. And then after that we can do Grave Robbers. Son of a puppy. Oh, I, I hate that we have to wait for the roleplay. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I wish that was phased. We have to wait for every player that does it. Okay, well, let's let's run out to the trade goods vendor. And let's grab a little bit of uh, coarse thread. Be quick about so we pieces. can make some of these pieces. We'll just grab ten for now. I think they stacked to ten. The boots require light leather. Ooh, ouch. We haven't found any leather yet, and we don't have skinning yet. Goodbye. Well, there we go. That is our new look. And I am going to take a break right here for today. Next time we come back, we will go after more Scarlets and get more Linen. I think we're getting close. We're getting closer and closer. As soon as we can start making greens, I don't think it takes very much to get enchanting where we need it to be to get the Lesser Magic Wand. Maybe enchanting 25 is what we're aiming for. I will double check on that so that I know for next time. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I really do appreciate all the support on the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.